TikTok came out of nowhere to become one of the world's most social, popular social media platforms. But what is it exactly? Is it a PSYOP? Hmm, well, TikTok is effectively controlled by the government of China. But what's interesting is that the TikTok that Chinese residents, children in China get to see, is very different from the one your kids are looking at here. Now, in China, where TikTok is known under a different name, videos like these are very common. Watch. Legends never die. They become a part of you. Interesting. The Rubik's Cube Olympics, showering the teacher with adoration, kids who can draw like draftsmen. Now, we saw all of those by registering an Apple device in China, just because we wanted to know what are they watching on TikTok. Now, you know what American kids, your kids are watching on TikTok, stuff like this. <laughs> There's also a huge genre on American TikTok of videos convincing your kids to get a sex change. Now, none of this stuff comes up randomly. It's curated. It's determined by an algorithm. Now, on Chinese TikTok, there are lots of videos of college graduations, for example. You're seeing those on your screen right now. So in China, TikTok is wholesome, affirming. In the United States, well, it's a driver of social chaos. What's going on here exactly? Nicholas Chalian is a former Air Force chief software officer. He joins us tonight. Ms. Chalian, thanks so much for coming on. Can this be accidental? No, absolutely not. This is something that China has designed from the beginning, first launching Douyin in China with a very different process. First, for kids under 14, you cannot spend more than 40 minutes a day on the application. They know how toxic it is, for, particularly for younger generations, but also they are banning the application after uh, nighttime. That's very important as well. The other piece is that, uh, effectively, the two applications are completely different, like you said, completely different algorithm. What you're going to find uh, on the Douyin application is effectively pushing educational content, historical uh, content, and, of course, science. Uh, that's not an accident. It's really designed to effectively push the rest of the world to become imbeciles. Has the United States ever, in the past, say, five years, acted in its own interest to protect its own people from China ever, anywhere? Have you ever seen that? Or we just sit passively by and allow those? No, it's, it's definitely a perfect example of what you see uh, the, the Chinese Communist Party uh, leading in, in really what is effectively a, a weapon of misinformation and, and really, at the end of the day, uh, is capable of swaying elections as well across the, the world. Yeah. Let's convince their kids to get sterilized. Okay. Nick Chalian, appreciate your coming on tonight for that perspective. I, I don't think we think enough about this, but we should. Appreciate it. We should. It. Thank you for having me.